Hey there, my name is Scott Grant. I'm a certified senior advisor and senior home safety specialist with Gray and with Grace. This is the Sharp Atomic Analog Wall Clock. Let me take us out of the box and show this to you. First of all, you got these nice, big, bold print. So even from across the room, that's something that most people would be able to see. You've got a second hand on this one. A lot of these clocks nowadays don't have a second hand, but a lot of people like to have that feature. And then these long, dark minute and hour hands are easy to see. Okay. So before you use it, it does require a AA battery and that is not included. So make sure you have a battery. I've got one here, so we'll put that one in there. All right, when you put the battery in, you notice the hands will start moving. What it's doing is it's now setting itself according to the atomic clock. Here, this is where you set what time zone you live in. You got P for Pacific, M for Mountain, C for Central, and E for Eastern. So you want to slide that all the way over to E for Eastern. That's where I happen to be. So you set that for your actual time zone. You can manually set the clock as well if you would need to using the set function right there. And then it's also got a function here, whether or not your area observes daylight savings time. Mine does, so I'm gonna put on right there. If your area does not observe daylight savings time, you can flip that over to off. So that will keep it to keep your accurate time. All right, so it is right now here about 11.23 a.m. I'm going to go ahead and pause this video and let it catch up. Okay, so the clock actually reset itself back to midnight. It means it's not picking up the signal where I am right now. So according to the owner's manual, when that happens, the signal is stronger at night. So it will reset itself at night. Another option is there is a wave button right here that says wave. You can press that button and that will try to force a signal. You hold it down for three seconds. That can take three to eight minutes to pick up that signal. So I'm going to give it a few minutes and see how that works. Okay, so that method didn't work either. So what I did was, according to the directions, is just let it sit overnight. So when I let it sit overnight and came back and checked this morning, and it is now reading, it is now reading my correct time for my area. So if you do have trouble with it, just give it some time and it will set itself. So I hope this has helped and thanks for watching.